My name is Luciano Floridi and I'm the Professor of Philosophy and Ethics of Information at the University of Oxford, where I'm also the Director of Research of the Oxford Internet Institute. In my recent book uh, entitled The Fourth Revolution, I try to explain uh, philosophically why these uh, transformations that we are undergoing in terms of uh, uh, big data, algorithms, uh, information society is really about reassessing human nature rather than being able to do more things, different things with the world. Let me explain. The point is about understanding ourselves better or rather differently in a world that now is made of information, and we can call it infosphere, at a time which is increasingly relying on information and communication technologies, and we can call that time hyperhistory. So what happens to us, to our self-understanding, to the human nature, and to the human project when this is developed within a new infosphere, within a hyperhistorical context? Those are the questions that I address in the book. During the media convention, I hope to explore uh, some of the foundational uh, issues that uh, qualify our life uh, online, or as I prefer to call it, our own life. And some of these foundational uh, issues uh, have a lot to do with human rights. Until recently, well, just a few decades ago, we used to think that human rights were like columns in a Greek temple. They were supporting this wonderful uh, construction that we called uh, liberal democracy. Uh, things like security, uh, privacy, freedom of speech. Uh, recently, because uh, of the development in our uh, technologies, in our information society, we have come to realize that these three uh, columns are really more like three friends who had never met. We organize a party and we discover they don't go along together very well. We need to decide whether to privilege security uh, over privacy, or freedom of speech over privacy. And these three elements uh, will be part of my discussion, uh, I hope, in Berlin. The last case of uh, a tension between uh, fundamental human rights uh, is clearly represented by uh, the uh, discussion between Apple and the FBI in terms of uh, building or not building, providing what looks like, or may be called, a backdoor uh, to some uh, devices, and the iPhone in particular. Um, in this case, too, what we are seeing is uh, essentially two fundamental rules of the game that we called uh, liberal democracy uh, being uh, in contrast. On the one hand, we want to have uh, the police uh, in charge and being able to protect us as far as they can, and that means having access to useful information. Uh, at the same time, we want to make sure that uh, companies are not forced to dispose our data um, because that's where our privacy lies. How exactly we're going to square this uh, in the future is the challenge for our own time, is one of the defining challenges of the 21st century. I met uh, Edward Snowden online before, uh, doing a meeting in London, uh, and I'll be delighted to meet him again uh, in Berlin. Um, the uh, meeting was organized uh, by the media convention, and uh, I hope, I expect, that our dialogue will explore the possibility of uh, squaring uh, some of the difficult issues that we have today uh, in terms of ethics and uh, uh, legality, uh, especially how much we need to uh, stress the importance of security when it comes at high cost in terms of uh, a liberal uh, democracy and how far we need to go in terms of uh, disclosing and being transparent uh, about the most fundamental secrets that every state needs to have uh, when it comes to protecting its citizens. So uh, I look forward to this uh, debate because it's going to be interesting.